Do you remember I said that uh, the, the whenever the motor has to produce more torque, and it, it, the current will ramp, the current will ramp up. Do you remember that? Does everyone have some concept of voltage and current? Yeah, you understand. So uh, uh, whenever whenever I'm on a treadmill and the treadmill wants me to, if I ramp up the the, um, the height and uh, the, the angle, my body I need to breathe more air up a lot faster. It's so I'm not very fit, but uh, I'm like the motor. Whenever the motor has to turn harder, it needs higher current. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you something really quickly now. Have you used um, multimeters in your electronics class? Yeah. A little bit. Whenever we measure current, we have we have the 10 amp and the com. Okay. Do you remember that? The other two are for voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this on AC current. Whenever we're measuring current, the multimeter is in the circuit, so the current actually flows through it. Now what we're going to do is, yeah, you can plug that in there. Now turn, turn that off there just for a second. Now do you see, did I do something stupid already? Hold on. So we make sure there's no key in here. Okay, so there's no key in there, and you may as well plug it in now. Now we have six amps uh, flowing through the motor, six amps flowing through the AC motor. Put them glasses on, whatever you do, just in case. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is you're going to plug that now. Now, do you remember Michael said uh, he works with agitators? We're going to we're going to simulate Michael falling into the tank. Is that fair? All right. All right, so we're going, to, we're going to simulate Mike's arm getting caught in the agitator. So what I'm going to do, this is a very heavy weight, and I'm kind of hoping that when, when we turn this on, what do we expect the current to do? Sure. It should go up. Now, do you remember what the current was before? Now, pay attention now, because I'm giving you some homework on this. I'm done yet. Hold on a second. Where is the, the bloody good man? Uh, yeah. So I'm using the keyway and just a big heavy load to, to simulate a, a load going into the agitator. Come on now. Here we go. That's one by 180. What's that? I just want that 180 to grab the power on the other side. Yeah, I think that's not a ring. So now this ain't going anywhere. Do you want to try that again with the with the power? Plug that in for me. Okay. Now I've done hold on for a sec, I've done this before and this this ain't gonna do a whole lot, but you may as well plug it in. That was good actually though. It's at six amps. Why don't you unplug it for a second? And I want to show you something. Can you watch the current really, really closely for a second? Hold on. Okay. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Hold this for a second. Okay. Now watch this closely, alright? Alright, hit it again. Okay. Did you see what just happened there? So there's about 16 amps, so there's a starting current. Um, so that went really, really high. So that's good, I, I didn't notice that. So that's 16 amps there, but it, it, it settles down at six amps. Do you see that? So it's not really doing a great job of, of a load. What we're gonna do over here though, and keep, keep that unplugged, will you do me a favor actually, and, and when this stops, take it down, put the coupling back on, and we're gonna couple it to this. So while you're doing it, I'm gonna show them, all right? Now, so this is the motor driving the agitator, and is it fair to say that the load isn't really doing much of a load? Do you see what I'm saying? Now, what we're going to do with this here, is this is another AC motor, okay? Now why don't you come here for a second? Now what I'm doing here, this is a very, very fancy power supply, but all we're doing is I'm providing DC to an AC motor. Do you hear me? So what I want you to do, is I'm going to turn this DC all the way down, and I want you to turn this. 
Right. So you, I want you to turn them over and just tell me if you feel any friction. Not Okay, is it happy? Go on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay, no. So so by providing DC to an AC motor, they call it DC braking. Are you with me? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to crank this voltage up and all of a sudden this is going to be a bit more of a load. Okay? So I want to simulate I want to simulate a human getting caught in a conveyor belt or me falling into a pizza dough mixer or something that we want to we want to uh, trigger some sort of overcurrent. Now what I'm hoping is going to happen is as I crank up this load and I'm simulating the motor working a lot harder, I'm hoping this current goes up and stays up. Are you with me? What you guys are going to do for homework is I want some sort of safety system that I'm going to put, an electrical safety system that I can put in, the, in here and let's crank, let's, um, so you guys are going to design some sort of overcurrent protection. What, what sort of systems do you think you could find? Well, I know at my work we use motor starters and we set them to a certain amperage. You use, use motor starters and you set them to a certain amperage. Okay, are they for three phase or single phase? Three phase. Three phase. Now this is a, these are, this is a single phase motor. So I don't care how you do it, but it would be nice if one of you came in, this is optional at home, it would be nice if you came in next week and we could put something in there or if we have to order it from McMaster Car. Okay. So I turn down the, the DC voltage. Do you want to plug that in now? Six volts, all right? Michael's arm gets caught in the agitator. I'm going to crank this deep. All right, 10 volts. Okay, so. Are you okay, Michael? Yeah. Okay, you can unplug that now. So. What is the steady state current? Six. Six. What is the current running when Mike gets caught in the conveyor? Ten. Ten. So what are you guys going to do? That's your problem. You for, that's, your, that's optional. If you have enough to do for homework, but it would be nice if you could figure that out. Okay? Do you understand the problem? Yes, sir. Okay, that's it. Right. Uh, well, keep, finish what you're doing, and if, you know, if you've everything done, you can